Back in March of 2010, I did a video on how to do an offline password reset hack on a Windows 7 machine. A few people wanted to know if there was a way to just crack the password instead of reset it. The answer? Yes. Yes, there is. This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Amazon. Welcome to episode 31 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka twitter.com slash Pablo. Today we're going to look at a couple of ways we can find out what a local user password is on a Windows 7 machine instead of simply resetting it. Still though, the methods I will give you require you to have physical access to the target computer. As with the last episode of Tech Shop, we're going to be using Backtrack 5R3 because of the multitude of tools for this type of work. The type of work being password hash cracking. You see, the way Windows stores its passwords is by using a hash algorithm called LM or NTLM. Windows 7 uses only NTLM, which is a little harder to crack than LM, which was used a lot in Windows XP. The reason the password reset attack works so well is it doesn't have to try and reverse engineer the NTLM hash. All it has to do is generate a new hash with a new password. Simple and quick, right? The process for cracking a hash takes some time depending on how complex the password is. In my testing for this video, I found that relatively simple passwords were cracked fairly easily using rainbow tables, while more complex passwords couldn't be cracked using the methods I'll show you today. That being said though, just because you can't crack the password hash doesn't mean that the hash is useless. I'll show you what I mean by that a little later. Before we go any further, let's take a break for this week's sponsor. Need a new computer? Amazon has it. Need some toilet paper? Amazon has it. Want to read the latest best-selling book? Amazon has it. Amazon is literally your one-stop shop for everything you could possibly ever want online. They also resell items from some of your favorite online retailers like Tiger Direct. Except oftentimes with no taxes and cheaper shipping. Plus, if you sign up with Amazon Prime with a low cost of only $79 per year, you get free two-day shipping on millions of different items. Everything is delivered right to your door. No more driving to the store for your odds and ends, taking away from valuable Xbox time, shop in your underwear like you always wanted to do. Go to Amazon.TechChop.com. You'll get the same experience and prices, plus a small percentage of your purchase goes to help out TechChop. It's win-win for everybody. Visit Amazon.TechChop.com now and get your Amazon shop on. Bookmark Amazon.TechChop.com for all your future purchases and continue to help out the show. That's Amazon.TechChop.com. So you want to know how to crack a Windows 7 password instead of just resetting it. All right, the first thing we need to do is get a dump of the password hashes on the system. The way we do that is boot up the target computer to our Backtrack USB key. I'm using the GNOME version of Backtrack, so the following might be slightly different in the KDE version, but hopefully you'll get the point. Once booted up, we're going to open up our Windows partition by going to Places, clicking on the hard drive icon. Then we're going to browse over to Windows, System32, Config, copy the SAM and system files over to Pentest, Passwords, John. Once we have the SAM and system file, we no longer need to be in front of our target computer to do the rest. We can save those to our USB key for later if we want. That's good if you only have a limited amount of time to grab those files. Anyway, now we're going to open up the terminal and change into the Pentest Passwords John directory where we save the SAM and system files. The first command we're going to run is bkhive system boot key and click enter. Next we're going to run sam dump2 sam boot key caret hash.txt. Now if we run cat hash.txt we'll see all of our nice password hashes. Now that we have our hashes we can start our various attacks. To keep things simple I'm only going to concentrate on our hacker user. Therefore, I'm going to remove the other hashes for the rest of my test. You don't have to do this, but it makes things easier for me. The first method one might use to try to crack the password is by using John the Ripper, which is why we've copied the SAM and system files to the John directory. John the Ripper is a brute forcing tool that will try a bunch of different combinations to try to guess the password that matches the hash. To run John, run dot slash John, hash dot text, dash dash format equals NT and click enter. As with any brute forcing tool, this attack may take a really long time. Needless to say, because of the time it takes to brute force a hash, using John is not my favorite method. The next two methods I feel are a little more time efficient. 
first one does a lookup of our hash on several of the internet's most popular hash cracking websites. The tool is called Find My Hash, which is located in Pentest, Passwords, Find My Hash. This can save time if another hacker has already tried to find a password for the hash that you're trying to crack. To run it, change into the Pentest, Passwords, Find My Hash directory and run dot slash find my hash ntlm minus h in the hash value. Find my hash will then do a quick internet search and display the results. In my example, none of the sites that find my hash used had my hash. Don't get discouraged by this. That just means that you're probably the first hacker trying to find this password. Which brings me to my next option, which is to run the hash against some rainbow tables on sites like cracker.fox21.at or md5decryptor.co.uk. I ran my hash on md5decryptor.co.uk and it found my password in seconds. Then again, banana12 isn't that strong of a password. If you can't crack the password, as I mentioned in the beginning, that doesn't necessarily mean that the hash is useless. You don't have to know the password necessarily if you have the hash. You see, NTLM hashes aren't unique on different systems. If you have the same username and password on multiple machines, then the NTLM hash will be the same on those machines. Because of that, you can use a technique called passing the hash to gain access to other computers on the network that might have the same username and password. Many organizations for ease of administration have a single local administrator password that they use on all the computers on their network. That means that once we have the hash for one computer, we are more than likely able to use that on other computers using the passing the hash technique. The easiest way to perform that attack is by using a tool called Armitage on Backtrack. You can open Armitage by clicking on Applications, Backtrack, Exploitation, Tools, Network Exploitation Tools, Metasploit Framework, Armitage. Follow the prompts to launch Armitage and the Metasploit Framework components that it needs. When it's up, you can scan for hosts, but in my example, I'm just going to add my second test computer. Once you have a target, right click on it and select scan so Armitage can identify what type of system it is. Next we will click on the attacks menu and click find attacks. Once that is done, we'll have our attack menu which we will need to perform the pass the hash attack. To do that, right click the target and select attack SMB pass the hash. Fill in the username and paste the hash for the password. Leave the domain field as workgroup for local accounts, then click launch. If successful, your target computer will turn red with lightning bolts indicating that you have gained access to the target computer and you will now see a interpreter prompt at the bottom of the screen where you can now control the hacked system. I hope this answered some of your original questions about how to crack a Windows password instead of just resetting it. It's important to mention that the password cracking techniques aren't foolproof. I tested some more complex passwords against the online rainbow tables and they couldn't crack them. Because of that, I still think that the offline password reset is the fastest and most effective method of getting into a Windows machine. But if you need to gain access to multiple machines on the network, the pass the hash attack isn't bad either. If you have any questions or have something to add to the discussion about cracking NTLM hashes, hit us up in the comments or leave a comment on our Facebook page. Otherwise, don't forget to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week right here on Tech Shop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.